When I find a large amount of yarn at a thrift store that I like, I buy it. I found 12 skeins of this at a thrift store. They were a dollar each. So I bought them all. <sighs> I definitely have enough to make a nice long skirt with this. I've never used this brand of yarn before, but I do like the variegated that it has. There's black woven in through everything, and then other interesting little colors popping up. There's pink and orange, an off-white, a yellowy-ish. I think this is going to make a very interesting skirt. With variegateds, I find usually doing a simpler pattern makes the color stand out better. So I'm going to experiment with this and try a couple of simple patterns that I think might work. I have done a couple of tests of some patterns I was thinking about for this skirt. This one is a little too lacy, I think. What I'm going to go with is a basket weave. I think it brings out the colors of the variegated very nicely. And it is solid enough. I might not need to line this skirt to be able to wear it. I did a row of chains. In that, I did single crochets just to give it a little bit more structure. Then I did my standard drawstring pattern where I do one double crochet, chain, one double crochet, chain, double crochet, chain, double crochet, chain, creating that nice lattice work that I can then weave a ribbon or something into. Maybe elastic this time. I don't know. Then I did just a row of double crochets. Other than the chain to go up, they are in multiples of three. This is going to be important when doing the basket weave. So my chain twos just get me up. To do the basket weave, you need to alternate doing front post double crochets and back post double crochets in groups of three. For these three, I'm doing front post double crochets. So I do the yarn over. Instead of going into the top of the stitch, I'm going to go around the stitch, the post of the stitch but I'm at the front of it. And then carry on just like I would with a normal double crochet. Yarn over through the front of the post. So again, I'm going all the way around the post of the double crochet. So there's my three front post. Now I'm going to do back post double crochets. So I'm going around from the back around the post. And there's three back post double crochets. This gives it a lot more texture. The front post double crochets are farther forward. The ones on the back are behind. And as we build up the pattern, you'll really see how it gives it that basket weave kind of look. What I'm going to do now is carry on doing three front post followed by three back posts. Three front posts, three back posts, all the way around till I join. See you in a few.
I have come full circle, it's time for me to join into my chains. Chain two gets me up, flip my work, and this is only the second time that I'm doing the start of the basket weave. So I'm going to do the same kind of stitch that I have in the previous row. So even though technically when I did these stitches they were back post double crochets, when I flip the work they're poofing to the front. So I'm going to do front post. Now my next three stitches are towards the back, so I'm doing back post. Keep going around the skirt, doing the same as the previous round. So you can start to see the front post ones are much higher, back post double crochets are lower, and we have this wonderful texture developing. Same thing as with my previous round. I'm going to keep crocheting until I get back to the beginning. I have come full circle, joined, chain two, and flipped my work. Now we're going to do the opposite. So these stitches look like front post double crochets. I'm going to do back post double crochets. These ones look like back post. I'm going to do front post. Again, these ones look like front post. I'm going to do back post. These ones look like back posts, so I'm doing front post. And I'm going to carry on doing the opposite of what is on the round before. I'm going to keep going all the way around and join up. I will see you again when I have finished this round. We're back around, so you can see the difference here. There's the front two rows of the front post, and I've done one row of the back post. I'm going to do the same as the round previous. clear that is on the video, but you can start to see the basket weave effect because you have the tops of the stitches going this way and then you see the posts there, it creates that basket weave effect. So going around, you do two rows one way and then two rows the other way and you keep alternating every couple of rounds and it creates this beautiful basket weave texture. 
end of day one crocheting and I have I'm gonna count the patterns. One, two, three, three and a half patterns of basket weave complete. Day two progress. There are now two skeins of yarn in this. Looks like we're at nine and a half inches. Did a little test trial of a pattern that might work for some trim for the bottom of this skirt. I want it to be loose and flexible to allow movement, but I like that it is going to add a fair bit of length again to this skirt since the basket weave is stopping at my knees. I'm going to do a couple more patterns of this and see how it looks. This is what my trim looks like so far. There's one pattern. There's another, and yes, I've already started on a third. I like the angle. I like how soft and flowy it is. There's a little bit of ruffle to it, but not excessive. I think this is going to work. How it starts, the first row you build up with chains. The other ones I used, uh, I slip stitched across, chain up, two double crochets across, making V stitches along, chain space, and then it joins to the skirt. Go back, create this cross pattern, loops back around, Across here, up and across again. Double crochets into this loop, and then the little bloop doo doo doops, and then finish. So it is just two. I have done two. I like it. It's different, creates contrast between the basket weave and the trim, and is lacy enough to be interesting. While the basket weave is nice and solid and just adds texture. I'm going to keep working my way around the bottom of the skirt with this pattern. I am going to try to crochet and show you this, but it is a little awkward, so this might get interesting. All right, I have just finished one of the patterns of the edging. I slip stitch to join back to the skirt and have chained one just to get me out away from the skirt. Flip the work. That way I'm going back across the other way. To start off, I am just going to slip stitch across this first part of the previous pattern. I'm putting two slip stitches in where there were the two chain spaces. Everything else I'm actually going into the top of the stitch. I do not go into the last double crochet. Chain three flip the work, and I'm going to double crochet back towards the V-stitch.
V-stitch. Two chains back into the V-stitch. Chain one and then slip stitch into, so I'm skipping two stitches on the skirt to kind of equal the double crochets that I have going up. Skip two more. Into the third, chain one. Flip the work into the V-stitch. Chain two. I'm going to skip two of these double crochets. Do another double crochet. Chain two. Skip two. Double crochet into the top of this double crochet. Chain two. Into the tops of the double crochets. So chain two, skip two, and then into the top of the double crochets. V stitch. stitches, slip stitch into the next, slip stitch up, a couple more, chain, and flip the work. V-stitch, crochets of the previous row. Now in these five chains here, I am going to do double crochet, chain, double crochet, chain into each one. double crochet row. Chain one, flip the work, slip stitch into the first big space here, chain three, single crochet into the chain space, chain three, single crochet into the chain space. And I'm doing this for all of the in between all of the double crochets. Chain one more, and then double crochets into the tops of these double crochets. V stitch stitch. Chain 
chain and then join back up. There we go. There is another part of the edging complete. than I was planning, but it is very flattering. I think that was because the way the basket weave works, yes, it's stretchy, but when I tried it on when I first started, there were only a couple of rows of it. I think as it accumulates, it really pulls in on itself, which, uh, mm, yes, means it uh, hugs my curves, but I can still move in it. That's no problem. There's enough stretch in it. It's just very flattering. And the feel of it, oh, glorious. As soon as I put it on, it just lifted my spirits, made me feel wonderful and delightful. There are certain clothes that you put them on and you can't be sad. Skirt is fabulous for winter. It is really nice and warm. I like that because it's cold in Canada and I don't like being cold. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my creative adventures in costuming, crocheting, and history bounding, click that subscribe button. Until next time, have fun and be creative. Yes, I have an R2D2 mug.